Welcome to the workshop manufacturing practices lab in this section we'll discuss about the experiments uh, during turning, sharpening and facing operation. So experiment here we have to perform turning, facing and sharpening operation on a workpiece. Machine use lead machines. So this is the machines which are used for the these three operations. So what is facing, turning and sampering? as shown in figure a it is it can be seen that that the tool is made perpendicular to the axis of the workpiece this is called a facing operation the motive of the facing operation is to make a smooth surface on the front parts of the workpiece thereby to help in the centering purposes in figure b it is seen that, that the tool is made parallel to the axis of the workpiece and it is called so called the longitudinal turning if the tool is made perpendicular to the work axis of the workpiece then it is called the transverse turning in figure c you see that some angle is given to the finished surface that means the facing part of the workpiece so in the both sides it is seen that some angle of 45 degrees is given so this uh, some chamfer tool is used in the lead machine so this operation is called the chamfering. So in the job part, we have seen that we have a job of 110 mm length and its diameter is 50 mm. So in the finished workpiece, we have seen that we have to make different operations. So first operation, I will explain that first operation is the turning operation. So as you see, we have to make a 100 mm length up to the diameter 40 mm then after getting uh, up to the 60 40 mm then again we have to reduce the diameter to 20 mm then this is called the longitudinal turning operation then in the beginning part and the ending part of the 40 mm length in the uh, length part of this workpiece we see that we have to reduce the uh, diameter of this workpiece up to the 20 micro uh, 20 uh, mm so this is also done using the turning operation then we do the facing operation in the front surface of the bo in the workpieces so this is called the uh, facing so here we have seen that this diameter is being reduced to 20 uh, mic mm then you have seen that some uh, curved surfaces are there in the in front part of the 40 mm length and in the end part of the 40 mm length in the length part so this is done by with the chamfer tool and this is called a chamfering operation so this main motive of the chamfering operation to uh, make the uh, side smooth from the any curve or irregular surfaces of the workpiece So this is the final workpiece we got using both using these three operations turning, facing and sampering. So in this machine shop workshop, so this is a lead machine. This is a three so self-centered lead machine. This is the complete part. So I will show you one by one. So this is the headstock part here spindle gear mechanism suck is situated this is a three zero self-centered suck this is the tool post this is the carriage this is the carriage this is the cross light and this is the tail stock which is required for holding work pieces and this is the tool post and this is the cutting tool material it is being held with the help of tool post this is the cross light we can move the tool post up and down so this is the carriage we can move the tool post towards the left or right and this is the cooling mechanism this is the cooling pipe so it is being applied at the interface of the tool and workpiece the motive is to remove the extra heat from the tool and workpiece also to helps in cooling the workpiece so this is the feed rod and this is the some a mechanism for engaging the uh, the rpm so different rpm is shown here according to the different position of the lever 
so here it is showing j k p so here this lever is at j position and this one is at k position and this this one is at k position and this one is at p position so this j k p 240 using the lever at different position we can obtain different speed according to the tool workpiece combination